Here's how to do a quick thermal analysis in SimSolid Cloud. Okay, I have a two-part model. Uh, part with the heat sink here is aluminum, the base is copper. I have connections assigned. To do a thermal analysis, I say add thermal analysis, and I just have to specify my, my boundary conditions. And in, therms, in SimSolid Cloud, you can do either temperature, heat flux, convection, or volumetric heat. So I'll do temperature first, and we'll specify 60 degrees C, the base here at the bottom. Then I need to come up here and specify the convection coefficients for the cooling fins. So I'll do that by saying convection. I have to specify the ambient uh, temperature of the, of the fluid, which is I say is 20 degrees C, and then the convection coefficient of 200. Now I have to pick the, the faces, so there are many faces there, give me just a second. And once we get them picked, we'll be ready to do the analysis. Okay, there we go. So now we're good to go. Let's just say solve. You know, in SimSolid Cloud, you don't have to make a mesh, so it makes it very easy. Just say solve, and it will come back with our thermal results in a minute. Okay, there are the results. And... Um, you can see that I can specify, I can look at, you know, temperature results or thermal flux or temperature gradients. I can look at them, you know, uh, six colors, 12 colors, uh, smooth colors, etc. Now, that's great, but what if I want to change something? How would, I, how would I do that? Well, let's come out of here and let's say, uh, go back to our model. And instead of this fin, let's, this heat sink, let's grab this one right here uh, and make a second design study. Now, as SimSolid makes a second design study, what it does is it uh, takes all the definition from the first study uh, and then uh, copies them onto the second study. So you see here we have all the same boundary conditions. Now, with one exception, it doesn't know about part materials yet, so we need to set the materials again. Apply there. Uh, make this um, copper. But after that, it's all good to go. So now for the second analysis with these bigger uh, fins, I just need to simply say solve that one. Okay, so there's my results there. So I have uh, two thermal analysis, one on this longer fin model, one on the shorter fin model, and I can go back and forth and compare and contrast them very easily in some solid cloud. Thanks for watching.